Hello, I'm Sebastian from Agile Beam, and today we are going to talk about AI because AI is changing a lot of things to, today, and uh, it's impossible not to be uh, aware of it. You need to interest it to this subject to make some tests, and uh, we are going uh, to talk about uh, ChatGPT. ChatGPT is one of the AI tools that you can use. Uh, probably you, you you heard about uh, Midjourney to do some images. ChatGPT is more a chatbot where you could ask some question and he uh, answer as would do a human. But the problem is that uh, ChatGPT is rather general and uh, you need to adapt uh, the way you talk to him so that he understands fully the context. So we are going to see that in detail together. Uh, meanwhile, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel. It helps us to produce some new content like this and uh, you will be uh, uh, one of the new video. Okay, let's jump to my screen. Okay, so before to jump into ChatGPT, we are going to look at this uh, interesting uh, cheat sheet by uh, Paul Kiskis. So Paul Kiskis uh, is working for Ashitizer and he uh, produced this uh, useful information on how to use ChatGPT. So the basis of uh, ChatGPT is that you need to precise who uh, is supposed to, to be. If uh, you don't precise, is uh, it could be anyone. He could talk to uh, not architecture uh, professional people. So you 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 see, uh, you need to be aware of uh, the context. So we are going to take the first example. So ChatGPT will act as a residential architect, an architect uh, who builds some houses, some uh, small size houses and uh, that need to create a side brief, a client brief template, so to ask his client what they want to do. And uh, you need to, to precise some constraint typical of the site. So let's go to ChatGPT. Okay, so now we are on ChatGPT. So you have two choices, ChatGPT uh, 3.5 and ChatGPT uh, 4. The 4 is more precise, the 3.5 is more uh, fast. So we are going to take the 4 because we want to have a good result. And so we are going to ask uh, as a residential architect, could you prepare me a client brief template given that the site is close to the sea and has, uh, has a garden of thousand square meter. Has a garden of squ uh, thousand square meter. Okay, so now we validate and he is going to answer. He's always polite on chat GPT. <laughs> so not bad. So of course, probably you have also some template, but uh, how it could be useful? It could be useful if you don't know what is a client brief. Me personally, I have never worked with such a brief, so it's uh, useful, uh, interesting for me. Uh, after, even if you have a template, you could uh, you could uh, compare what you have, what the output, and uh, and complete what is missing because uh, it give you uh, it could give you some more idea. After as always in ChatGPT is the first response. It means that in ChatGPT memory, uh, his response, your question are inside the memory of this discussion. So you could iterate. If for example, you, you there is a missing chapter, you need to uh, to include, you could uh, ask him. If uh, for example, you want uh, to present it as a table, why not? Uh, could you, output this as a table so I can copy paste to Excel. So you see, it's quite convenient. You could uh, ask uh, 
what you want. And if your project so is very specific, you could add some more constraints. So the, the result will be, uh, will be, uh, uh more uh, specific to your case so i think for this first use case it works maybe the the level of uh, information is a bit uh, generic but uh, it's up to you to to give some precision so that the output the response will be more specific so now uh, let's go to the next example Okay, so let's move on to the next example. So now we are going to change we, uh, who we are. We are going to talk as a structural engineer because we are going to ask him a specific question about the possibilities of a foundation that we can use in a given context. So I can say as um, uh, you are a structural engineer, and uh, you need to make a choice uh, between different type of foundations. The soil is not very good and uh, the project is mainly uh, two stories uh, house. So here we, we are going to see what type of foundation he proposed for this job. Uh, an important thing to, to keep in mind is that the result he could answer on specific uh, thing like this uh, are generally good, but could sometimes be false. <laughs> so you always need to double check. Uh, if you you find something odd, you could uh, double check with Wikipedia or other site. So, but general, generally, it's uh, accurate, uh, especially for this type of generic uh, question where the 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 response is on the web is uh, uh, ChatGPT has analyzed many web pages, uh, basically all the web that was available two, three years ago because uh, it is updated uh, up to two, uh, three years ago. And uh, as this type of information don't move with the time, don't, don't change uh, a lot with time, uh, probably the information is accurate. So here he proposes three types of foundation, deep foundation, raft or mat foundation, or peer foundation. So it's a peer foundation uh, used for layer structure. So pile foundation, okay, okay. So now I can iterate and ask more, more thing like, uh, can you uh, give me Example of contemporary architecture project that use uh, peer foundation. I'm, yeah, I'm not totally sure that he, he will give some accurate uh, result. Um, we'll see. So, Fan Wars House, yeah, I think it's uh, correct. Uh, it's um, a misfounder project, uh, a low, um, very lightweight project. Um, so you could ask him questions by comparison with Google, where you need to you ask question one after the other, but you end up uh, doing the um, uh, a selection of where you need to pick manually the information inside the website that Google is referencing. In ChatGPT, you could just ask the question as would you would do with your colleague, for, for example. Uh, what type of foundation is more expensive? Deep foundation are more expensive. Okay, so you see, you could start a, a complete discussion on the on the basis of this first 
uh, this first uh, question. Now we are going to move to a final example to give you a, a more global impression of what we can do. The first one was to generate a template. The second one is more a discussion uh, to to check some uh, some fact. So now we are going to to see a third example. Okay, so we are going to see a last example. So this example will be more uh, practical. Uh, as uh, an architect, uh, I want to do some. Uh, I want to to finalize a building permit. So I want to ask a list of tasks of things to be done for a building permit. Of course, it needs to be double checked with the official building permit site, but it could be a first uh, list that could be uh, interesting. So I ask uh, as an architect in uh, UK, I, I will put in France because I know more about the building permit in France. Uh, I need to uh, finish and deliver a building building permit for uh, 500 square meter um, office building uh, in Paris. What are the requirement and the procedure uh, and the requirement can you uh, write me down a list of tasks to copy pass to my uh, project management project management tool Yes, yeah, so he precise that his information is not always updated because his data come uh, in September uh, 2021. But there are possibilities to, um, to analyze some uh, more recent uh, pages. Uh, we are not going to show this in this video, maybe in another video, uh, but you could give it uh, a, a URL, a link to a page where all the information is, and it could summarize it for you. Okay, so here he details all the procedure, uh, schematic design, preliminary design, project in initialization. So here you have a list of, uh, of documents. Uh, yeah, the form of the permit application, detailed arch architecture plan, site plan, engineering plan, environ environmental impact assessment, and so on and so forth. So you see that it's really a um, uh, handy tool uh, to generate stuff, generate stuff. You could also copy paste entire uh, documents that you don't have time to analyze or where you want him to, you want to ask him some question about it. We will see that in the next video. I hope uh, these three examples give you some ideas uh, to experiment, uh, experiment with uh, ChatGPT. Uh, it is just a few examples and there is really many stuff that can be made. Every time you have a prob problem and you think about going to Google, give it a try to chat GPT to, to understand what it can uh, answer you. Don't hesitate to, uh, to copy a chunk of data, or, I don't know, a document you, you've just received or something uh, you have so that uh, chat GPT understands the context. Uh, and that's it. Uh, uh, in the next video, we will uh, also probably talk about ag agility and AI. Uh, our AI is changing the way to collaborate. It's quite important. And if this thematic is interesting to you, please subscribe to this channel so that you will be one of the next video. Bye-bye.